Dr. Group, we were just talking about cigarette smoke, and you were making the distinction about the tobacco that we used to have versus the tobacco where they have intensified it, added all these chemicals, what was it, 4,000 chemicals, over 4,000 chemicals they've added to it. It's not uh, your grandfather's tobacco, certainly not your great-great-grandfather's tobacco. It's almost, in a sense, you, you see this happening throughout our food supply, whether they're modifying the corn or whether they're adding internally with genetic modification or whether they're adding chemicals to the cigarettes to intensify the nicotine. That was 20 years ago that came out in that whistleblower case that w eventually went on to 60 Minutes that they made the movie The Insider about. But talk about some of the other issues. We were talking about the sick building syndrome, about the dust, about the skin particles and the mites that are in buildings as we've tried to make them more energy efficient and tighter. Right. I mean, another thing on the cigarette uh, level is that now they're coming out with these e-cigarettes. And mm. the e-cigarettes, they use propylene glycol in there, and they mix <laughs> the, uh, the nicotine in with it, which is antifreeze. So, I mean, that's something that oh, people want to look at and switch to an organic vegetable glycerin or something like that. Now, when I was growing up, my both of my parents smoked. And I can remember driving around in the car with the windows rolled up and breathing all that in. And the walls, we would have to clean or paint every couple of years in my house because they were turning yellow. Wow. Um, so it's a serious situation, but what, you know, like you said, with the new green technology, we're living in airtight bubbles, and that's not good because there's no circulation. There's no outside air circulation coming in. Everything is in a square, so you have, you have a lot of dust buildup. You have the dander that falls off your skin. You have the uh, chemicals that are being released from all the spray cleaning products in your home, the chemicals that are being released, the radon now, which is big, the carbon dioxide levels in the home. I mean, you look at everything that you have to breathe in. For example, even laying on a memory foam mattress or using a memory foam pillow, you're going to be inhaling toxic fire retardants and volatile organic compounds or carcinogenic gases while you sleep. You know, even as much as uh, getting dry cleaned clothes, I mean, using laundry, you know, a perfumed laundry detergent, using perfume, which is, you know, can be toxic. All of these things are things that most people don't even think about in their homes. Look, how many people do you know that cook with Teflon oh, cookware? Yeah. Right. Okay, now if These you have a bird, <laughs> if you have a bird within, let's say, 100 feet of a Teflon pan and you're cooking, that bird will keel over and die because of the Teflon fumes that you're breathing in. Really? Really? Yes, Boy, yes. A, literally a canary in the coal mine. You know? A lot of people <laughs> lose their pet birds and, and wow. because they keel over dead because the, the gas is released from the Teflon during cooking. So there's a lot of exposure to toxic chemicals. And the bad thing is you can't really smell a lot of them and you can't see a lot of them. So... Uh, you're walking around in an environment, you know, especially you might, if you live in the South and you have, you know, humidity, you might have mold that gets up behind your walls, mildew, you know, you see it in the shower a lot of times where you have the little black spots of mold and mildew in the shower. So it's really about reducing the amount of chemicals that you're breathing in on a daily basis. We take 35,000 breaths of air every single day. Oxygen is the number one most important thing that we need to survive. And oxygen in itself is a powerful detoxifier of a lot of these chemicals. The problem is we have a lack of oxygen and an increase in chemicals. So what we need to do is we need to increase that oxygen level back up and decrease that uh, chemical level down. That's the solution. So, and, and to clarify, when we're talking about a, a sick building syndrome, I mean, a good engineer is going to make it not only thermally tight, but he's also going to make sure that the air is recirculated a certain number of times and that sort of thing. But there's a lot of people who are just making tight buildings. And we're not just making, we're not alarmist because, as you pointed out, Respiratory disease has gone from the third, from the eighth leading cause of death to the third leading cause of death. And, and that's just in the last 10 years. That's yeah. astronomical figures. I mean, we're talking the third leading cause of death right now is respiratory illness. When you see the clouds up in the sky, not the clouds, but the chemtrails, and the chemtrails are 
The lines of, from the plane that do not absorb like a contrail will, you know, it'll dissolve over a period of time. The persistent but, contrails. As, as the some persistent, call but it, them, yeah. it, here's the thing respiratory illness, I mean, even if you're healthy, you're still breathing in massive amounts of chemicals on a daily basis, unless you live in the middle of the forest somewhere. It's really important for me to address the causes of what's causing all these illnesses and what's causing the damage to all of us. You know, we know now that air is a ma is one of the top things that's causing us damage. So what do we do? We come up with a solution for that. You know, how, how can you increase your oxygen levels in your home? Put live plants, three live plants in each room of your house. Plants absorb toxins and carbon dioxide, and they emit oxygen. You know, these are some of the things that you can do. Eat live foods, which are going to provide you with good water and, and uh, oxid oxidative vitamin C and vitamin E. Those are some of the things that are going to protect you as good antioxidants. And avoid, you know, the, ne the one of the solutions to shutting all these companies down that are producing all these toxic chemicals is to just not buy from them anymore, you know? <laughs> Next time you need to go get uh, some sort of chemical cleaners or, uh, or herbicides for your yard or, you know, any type of carpet cleaners or air fresheners or anything that you use in your home that is completely chemical-based and toxic, Look online for natural alternatives, go to a natural organic food store and buy the organic replacements. I mean, you can't put a price on your health. I mean, it might read be the a label. dollar. Read it, the label. Exactly. It takes you a little bit of time to do the research, but then you know what product to get. And it's just the habit at that point. Yeah, you don't have is. to make that decision every time you make the purchase. You make it once you figure out what you're going to buy and then you, you, you know. By I'll reading tell you, the label. You know, and one of the easiest things that I recommend people do is to get a whole house air purification system that all just keeps the air clean in your house at all times. I personally recommend the Remy unit, the R E M E. I don't have any ties to the company or not, but you can put it in your HVAC system and that means it purifies the air throughout your whole house and it comes down and and the way that it happens is most toxins are positively charged and this puts out ionized hydroperoxides, which is exactly what you're going to find in a perfect natural environment in the mountain somewhere that are going to neutralize the toxins and then, you know, make them a little bit bigger molecule, molecular size and they'll fall to the floor. Hmm. So it's, you know, just taking steps. I mean, even if you can afford one of those, which I think they're around $600, even the smaller air purification systems that you put in your rooms in your house will do wonders. But you got to remember, I mean, especially in the bedroom is what I tell people because hopefully everybody's sleeping eight hours every night like they're supposed to. That's right. And that's when you really need clean air to help mm -hmm. your body heal. And if you are sleeping on uh, fabric that's that's not conducive to your body or you're sleeping on memory foam stuff. I mean, you definitely want to look into organic latex mattresses and organic bedding because that's, and you definitely don't want any air fresheners in your room or any type of toxic chemicals in your bedroom. Get some natural bedroom. plants. Yeah, and get, de definitely put plants yeah, in your bedroom. Yeah, that's great. And even opening the windows and letting the natural air come in. I mean, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we have a lot of fossil fuels that are out there, but I mean, if you live with in an area where it's, I mean, indoor air is, the EPA did a study and they found that indoor air is 10 times worse than outdoor air, even in infected areas. So open your windows, especially when it rains outside, you know, after about the first five or 10 minutes of rainfall, most of the toxic chemicals that are in the sky are going to be on the ground and then you know open your windows as much as you can That's and let that suggestion. let it uh, yeah. air out naturally that doesn't mm -hmm. cost you anything and it's great to do especially when it's raining i used to always love it in, in uh, florida in the summer it would rain every single afternoon you could practically set your clock by it and the air was always so great after it rained it was it was really a great cleansing well thank you so much for these tips that's really important we're very concerned about people's health and we need to all take the steps that we need to do to protect our own health, to protect our family. And part of that is education. Thank you so much for letting us know and, and sounding the alarm about how this has become now the third highest cause of death. It's really amazing. I, d I wasn't aware of that myself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going at an alarming rate. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dr. Group.